Well, hi everyone, and welcome to the Minnesota Association for College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We are so excited to have you all participating in this event and have some really fantastic schools um, here with us today. So my name is Karis and I will be your facilitator for the day. So before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. The first one you've probably already noticed, your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists can't see or hear you, but you can, however, use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of the many different sessions happening, so be sure that you have checked out that schedule on the website, that you're in the right session, um, and that you know who will be here with us tonight. And then finally, this presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Minnesota. So I will go ahead and turn it over to our first presenter for the night, which will be Michigan Technological University. Hi there, everyone. My name is Tara Brewer. Um, I know it says Nanette Carlson on there. Um, I'm representing her. I work out of Illinois and she is our Minnesota rep. So if you ever have any questions, I've left all of her contact information at the, lap, at the end of this program. I wanna say thanks for being here and taking time to learn more about Michigan Tech and all of the other wonderful schools here tonight. Michigan Tech is located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which as you can see on the map here, is surrounded by Lake Superior. The UP is one of the top 10 outdoor adventure lands in the country, and Michigan Tech is a medium-sized public university located right, in, right near downtown Houghton. Um, when I say medium-sized, we're about 7,000 students total on campus with just about 6,000 undergraduates. The average class size is about 25 students per class and over 90% of all of our courses are taught by professors with a student teacher ratio of about 13 to one. So what that basically means for all of my students out there is that the professors will know you, they'll know if you're in class, but they'll also know like maybe what kind of research projects you're interested in or what kind of companies might be a good fit for internships or employment and that type of thing. Um, Michigan Tech has pretty regularly hit some top numbers, I guess, so I, I listed some of them here. Um, although I think quick facts are great, it says a lot more about what our students do while they're students on campus. And we taught, I mentioned research, and I'll talk a little bit about that because for a medium-sized university, almost all of our students will research, and sometimes multiple different ways and different projects with different companies. And so these are just some of the ways that our students are experiencing hands-on learning. Some of those projects include things like they've designed nano satellites for the Air Force and for NASA that are currently in space and doing visual surveillance for them. They're working on another satellite right now through one of our enterprise teams, which is a research um, sort of club on campus that is going to do um, cloud work kind of sort of for like environmental purposes. They're also working on designing a car that will completely drive itself. Um, there were one of eight colleges in the country that were selected to be a part of that project. So it's really cool that you get to work on projects that are not recycled, but actually like completely new and different every year sometimes. These research projects often do um, result in really great stories to tell your employers. So we are really well known for what um, our students do after graduation as well. We have a really large career fair on campus every year where over 400 companies will come to our campus, which when you think back to where we're located, says a lot about what you guys are doing as students because it's not like GM or Chrysler or Tesla are going to the area by just passing through. Like they're on a mission to seek you guys out. And we have for the last almost 10 years now been ranked in the top 20 in the US for highest starting salaries. So it's nice to know that all that hard work you're doing in the classroom and all those fun research projects will result in internships, co-ops, and oftentimes really well-paid full-time positions. I'll talk a little bit about the application now and then we're gonna jump into student life. So for my seniors out there or juniors next year too, the application is totally free. There's no essay, no letter of recommendation. The whole thing will take about 10 minutes. Um, it's very streamlined. Once we have your transcripts, you should hear a decision from us within two to three weeks, and we will automatically evaluate you for scholarships at that time too, so you don't have to separately apply for those either. They range from $10,000 all the way up to $16,000 with an option to apply for a full tuition scholarship as well. 
When you're on campus, athletics and school spirit are a big part of what our students do. Going back to our location in the UP, Michigan Tech students on average come from about 10 hours away from home. So if you do decide to make the trip up, so do many other students. And it's not like you're just gonna go home on the weekend. So everyone is there and they're there to stay. They're going to the games, they're active, they're involved in one of our 240 different clubs or organizations. They're really making the most of their on-campus time. Now, I mentioned the UP was one of the top 10 outdoor adventure lands in the US. I should also mention that we take full advantage of that on our campus. We even have our own ski hill. We're one of the three snowiest colleges in the US. So with our own ski hill, you can take snowboarding as a gym class or ski anytime you want. It definitely gives a different um, experience to the campus life. The UP itself is very Northwoods. Think waterfalls, Northern Lights. You might see a moose on your drive to campus. And students really enjoy hiking, biking, fishing, skiing, canoeing, kayaking, all of that really great stuff. And you can do a lot of that right from campus. As you move forward and you have questions, please never hesitate to reach out to us. We really enjoy working with each of our students and would love to have you up for a visit. We are open for in-person visits right now. You come on a Monday through Friday that will include a department tour where you can sit down and meet with someone from, you know, one of your different major options. And they'll walk you through the classes you'll take, the research you'll work on, the companies that are hiring their students, average starting salaries, classroom size. You'll probably even get to see the labs and walk through like a curriculum with them and ask them all the great questions leaving campus, really having a great idea of what it would be like to be a Husky. And uh, while you're up, we also give you what's called a VIP pass. So if you come in the winter, you can check out the ski hill. If you come in the fall, the colors are epic. Um, but anytime you wanna come, please come. We'd love to show you around. And with that, I will turn it back over. Um, thank you so much for your time tonight. All right, well, we will keep things going with our next institution which is Southwest Minnesota State University. All right, perfect. Hi everybody, my name is Taylor McKittrick and I work at Southwest Minnesota State University, uh, but that's a mouthful. So we just say SMSU. Um, we are located in Marshall, Minnesota, which as our name says, is in the Southwest corner of Minnesota. So we're about two and a half hours from Minneapolis, St. Paul, about 90 miles from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So we're kind of right nestled in that corner. Um, Marshall itself is a town of about 15,000 people. So we are more of a rural community. And out of the seven Minnesota state schools, uh, we do have the smallest student body. So we have about 2,000 students that will live on campus and or live off campus, but that still go to class on a day-to-day -day basis. So 2,000 is going to be smaller than the other state schools um, that you might see in Minnesota, but we think that comes with a lot of different advantages. Uh, all of our classes are on one campus, so when it's cold and snowy in Minnesota, you don't have to get on a shuttle to go to other campuses. Everything is within a 10-minute walk on our campus, which is awesome. Um, my personal favorite thing about SMSU is that all of the buildings are connected. So when it is negative 20 and blowing snow, you don't have to bundle up in between class and eating and working out, right? You can go to the gym and go to class and eat and go to another class and all of the buildings are connected. So we always say uh, it's always 72 at SMSU because you don't have to walk outside in the winter. Um, however, when it is beautiful out like it has been lately, um, we do, we are connected to 40 acres of research and wildlife. So if you do like, you know, kinds of woods, um, woods and um, grasslands and prairie land, uh, we are connected to that. There's hiking and biking trails. We're about 10 miles from a state park and we have biking trails all the way out to that state park. And as it was mentioned earlier, the colors right now are absolutely stunning. Um, we also, if I can go to the next slide. Um, so SMSU does have over 60 uh, majors for our undergraduate students. Um, education is our top major, followed closely by business and exercise science. 
Um, but one unique program that we always like to highlight is there's a picture of it kind of right in the middle here. Um, and that is called Cullinology. So we are one of only a couple schools in the entire country to offer Cullinology. So you have culinary, which is the science or the study of food and art and everything food related for culinary mixed with food science, right? So it's kind of that combination of food and science, which is very, very cool. Um, it is a four-year degree, um, and the classes are in these huge industrial kitchens that you see here. So, so exciting if you've ever wanted to be a food critic, or you've wanted to own your own restaurant, or you love to bake. Like, this is a perfect opportunities for our students to explore some of their special interests and make it a career. Um, with our 2,000-ish student body, um, our student to faculty ratio is 12 to 1. So all the same things that you've kind of heard before. Um, smaller classes, you definitely get to know the professors. The professors know you, uh, which is really great. Um, for us, being in more of a rural community, um, it's very easy to meet people, to recognize people, um, and to get involved, not only in school, but also within the community. Um, that's also such a bonus about coming to Southwest Minnesota State is that you're not only welcomed into the college, you're welcomed into our town as well. So our residents of Marshall absolutely love when a school is in session. There's such high attendance at the volleyball games and the football games, not only by the students, but by the community members themselves who have invested so much time and energy into our students. Our students will work with our community members too, whether that be getting field experience in the classroom for educators or getting internships at US Bank or Schwann's um, within Marshall, Minnesota. So we really, really strive to make partnerships with our community as well as within our own school as well. Okay. So um, we are a division two school. So if you're familiar with other Minnesota state schools, um, we would play teams like Mankato or Winona or Bemidji. We do have 19 teams on our campus um, and we do have wheelchair basketball, which is something again, that's unique to SMSU. So our wheelchair basketball team will go all over the country competing um, and that's unique to our area. Uh, we also last year started an esports team. So if you are a gamer, you actually can win athletic scholarships for esports. We're really excited about that. They have their own room with state of the art computers and ergonomic chairs and everything that you can possibly think of that a gamer would want. Like we have that. So if you're interested in all, at all in any of our sports or activities, reach out to me. I'll be happy to connect you with a coach. We also do have over a hundred clubs and organizations on our campus. So odds are, if you have a special interest, there's probably a club for that. So every major has their own club. So we have the educators club and the social justice club. Um, and then we have special interest clubs as well. So we do have a speech team that travels all over the country. We do have intramurals if you're more of a sports person. Um, and, you know, we have special niche clubs too, right? Like we have the Dungeons and Dragons Club and the Love Your Melon Club, which raises money for childhood cancer. So we, um, we really love how involved our, our students are while on campus. Um, speaking of on campus, we do have different living opportunities. We know at 18 years old, it's your first time away from home. Um, so where you live is important. Um, and we do offer three types of housing for our students, whether they be in more of the traditional uh, residence halls, um, in our suites, or we also do offer apartments as well. Um, I was an RA, so I lived on campus all four years. I absolutely loved living in the residence halls. Um, you get to choose kind of what house you would like to live in. Um, we do have houses for um, specific majors. So if you are a colonology major, you can live with like-minded people. Um, just so much easier to meet people, grab somebody to go study, everything like that. Um, October is free application month. So if you would like to apply to SMSU, 
go online to our website, smsu.edu, click apply now. It takes about 10 minutes. We do not need a transcript. Um, we will admit you based off of your self-reported GPA. We also do not need an ACT um, for admission into our school, um, which is awesome. So if you would like to apply, it is free in the month of October and we are open for visits. So if you're interested in at all, right? It's hard to get the vibe of a school based off of six minutes. Um, so wherever you want, we encourage you to come on down. We're open Monday through Saturday. Uh, you can get a tour, meet with faculty, and also talk with current SMSU students about their experience here as well. All right. All right, well then I will go ahead and turn it over to our next institution. Um, as a reminder, you all, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those in the Q&A and we will get to them as soon as possible. But without further ado, here is Lake Area Tech College. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nikki. Um, I am an admissions rep here at Lake Area Technical College. Uh, we're located in Watertown, South Dakota, um, about the northeast corner of South Dakota, um, kind of bordering a little bit on Minnesota and North Dakota, pretty close um, to both of those states. So um, we have a town of about 22,000 up here. Um, our school um, in general, um, let me pull up some information for you so you can see this also. Um, so we have some basic information um, here. Uh, let's see, okay. Um, so Lake Area Tech, we do have about 2,700 students that go to school here. So um, not huge, not super small, kind of that, again, middle of the road uh, type of setting. Um, we have um, about 32 different programs to choose from um, here on, on our campus. Um, we do also have some online degrees as well um, that you can choose from. Uh, we kind of have some basic facts and just some different um, ways to uh, basically apply to our school, um, things like that. So applying is very simple. Um, you go to our website, go to the apply now button. Um, and right now, or excuse me, October 18th until the end of November. So six weeks, we're offering a free application. Um, you can go on and apply. You'll save a $25 application fee. Um, we would simply need a high school transcript and then an ACT or an Accuplacer exam score. So um, if you choose not to take that ACT, you can take that Accuplacer with us here on campus or many times that can be proctored right with your um, in, uh, counselor right at school. So once you're accepted, there's a few things to kind of make things successful for you. So you can um, you know, review the acceptance packet that's sent out, finish your FAFSA, lock in housing. So one thing with Lake Area Tech is we do not have dorms. We actually give that opportunity for you to choose where you would like to live. Um, so there are apartments and suites that are directly around campus that are open just to our students. Um, that allows you to kind of choose, um, you get to choose who you want to live with, um, things like that. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. Um, it also helps, you know, um, maybe as a student, it kind of makes you grow up a little bit too, um, because you are required to budget. Um, you um, have some big decisions that you get to make right away. So, um, but right around campus is probably the best area to um, be as far as living, um, very convenient, those cold winter mornings when you don't want to get up and start a vehicle and scrape the, the windows, um, you can be right across the street and walk right to campus. So um, all of our, we actually have about six different buildings here, um, but everything is within um, a three block radius. So not a lot of walking. Um, there's actually some new renovations coming into play where we're adding some skywalks. So that'll be exciting. You'll see in the future too. So um, some other facts just kind of about, about Lake Area Tech. So we do have, like I said, 32 different programs, um, very small class sizes. For every um, 17 students, we have an instructor. So again, you get to build that relationship with your instructor. They are your advisors. They're the ones that you go to about any questions or if you have to um, do some internships, they are going to be the best ones to go to with that information. So um, 
We also have what's called 80-20 time. So 80% of your time is going to be doing the hands-on. Um, you're not going to sit in a lecture hall taking notes. It's going to be eight, it's going to be doing these things. So if you're coming for nursing, you're going to be doing things that nurses do. Um, so lots of hands-on, maybe an hour of your day that will be spent um, doing class time in a lot of our programs. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to jump over so that you can um, see our website here. Whoops, not that one. Um, this shows all of our different programs that we do have. So we have everything from egg all the way to, you know, pilot, business, nursing, lots of medical fields. Um, so there's definitely quite a variety that you can get. With us, we're a two-year college. You obtain your associate's degree in two years, you get out and you start working. That's a huge um, push. Um, we want you, again, you get the hands-on experience. So you're pushing um, through and we can get you out uh, working right away. We have a 99% placement rate. So that means that 99% of our students go on to um, work as soon as they graduate um, or they go on and further their education. Um, our, or our credits are very transferable. So um, with you getting an associate's degree, sometimes students want to go on and get that BSN um, or, you know, their, their bachelor's uh, in nursing and our credits are very transferable um, within the state of South Dakota, over the borders. Um, we all play pretty nice with that. So um, you can definitely uh, do a lot with um, what you get from us. Um, Another cool aspect of what we offer is we have um, lots of scholarship opportunities. Um, one of the scholarships that we offer specifically in um, at Lake Area Tech is called the Build Dakota Scholarship. This is a scholarship that was created to build our workforce in South Dakota in these high need areas. We have a list of all of our programs that are eligible for this. Um, if you're chosen for this scholarship, you have basically a free ride or a full ride scholarship um, to come to Lake Area Tech. Your tuition fees are all paid for, tools, laptops, books, everything's paid for that's associated with school other than your living expenses. And then you basically would agree to work in the state of South Dakota for three years after you graduate. So three years can go so fast. After those three years, you are able to do whatever. If you want to go, you know, Deep sea fishing in Florida, you can take that route. It's up to you. So, but it's really nice to be able to leave school without any debt and ensures that you have a job when you leave. So, some a really great opportunity for sure. So, um, we have um, a lot of different intramural activities, um, a lot of different clubs. Um, we've added uh, esports this year. Um, so, we have a lot of different um, organizations and clubs that you can belong to. These are just a few of them, um, but we have great camaraderie uh, amongst our, our different programs for sure. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We are full on campus. We've been here since last year um, doing tours here on campus. Um, we can come, I can come visit you. It's whatever works. Um, I've been out on the road as well. So um, reach out. Um, you can come to, on our page, excuse me, you can go to our page and go to our contact us and you can reach any of us reps um, and set up a tour um, with us. So. If you have any questions, like I said, reach out. Thank you. All right, we will keep things going tonight with St. Mary's University. I'm sorry, St. Mary's University of Minnesota. All right, hello everyone. My name is Abby Callahan. I am one of the regional admissions representatives for St. Mary's. So I am located in the Twin Cities area. So St. Mary's is a private liberal arts Catholic college. And we also are LaSallian. So what the LaSallian parts means is that we value faith, community, and service. We have about 1,100 students on campus. So it's kind of hard not to be a tight-knit community with that amount. So that's where that LaSallian part really comes through. Um, just some general information, logistics about applying to us. The FAFSA was opened October 1st. Our FAFSA code is listed there. We try to get our financial aid packages sent out by mid-January. 
And I know looking at private school tuition looks super scary when you're looking at that initial amount, but um, as soon as you are admitted to our institution, you are eligible for a scholarship 23 to 27,000 right now. So that's just for getting accepted. You're gonna get somewhere in that range. We also offer scholarships just for visiting campus your senior year. If you have an interest in the arts, you can audition for some of our art, music, theater, or dance scholarships. If you go to a Catholic high school, or if your parents, grandparents went to St. Mary's, you can also get a scholarship for that. Our application process is pretty simple. So all we need is your transcript and a personal statement. We are test optional. The only programs where you will have to submit a few additional materials is our three plus two physician's assistant program and our nursing program where we'll need uh, letters of recommendation, a resume, and um, a specific essay for that program. So where we're located, we're located in Winona, which is southeastern Minnesota, which southeastern Minnesota was actually just ranked in the top 20 places to see fall colors in the country. So definitely come visit in the fall if you're going to. And Winona has a population of about 26,000. Uh, and so we have St. Mary's in town, as well as Winona State and Minnesota State College Southeast. So it is a college town. About 11 students go to school in Winona. So there's tons of things to do. A lot of outdoor recreation. We're right on the Mississippi River. Uh, there's a few lakes in town, state parks. Uh, if you're a big coffee fan, I think I counted 13 or 14 different local coffee shops in town as well as tons of different, uh, we have movie theaters, uh, arts festivals, we have a marine art museum in town. And if you are looking for a little bit of a bigger city, uh, we're only a few, about 30 minutes to a couple hours away from some other big cities. So 85% of our students do live on campus all four years. So all of our buildings are about 15 minutes from the furthest walk and we have everything from a single dorm to a nine person to a apartment to a uh, sort of townhouse style. So there's a lot of different options and that really keeps our students within that community. And we have 450 plus acres of our campus. So even though all of our buildings are close, our campus goes all the way back into the bluffs where you can hike on the trails, go fish in the trout stream, play disc golf on our disc golf course. I've heard it's pretty good, but I don't know anything about disc golf. And we also have cross country, cross country skiing, skiing trails in the winter. Uh, we're walking distance to a few different restaurants, stores just down the hill. And if you don't wanna walk, don't have your car on campus, Winona Transit picks up from our campus every day. So 65% of our students participate in some club or activity outside of their classes. Some of our big ones are our student activities committee and student senate. So if you wanna help plan all the fun things that come to campus, make changes, you can join those clubs. Uh, campus ministry does a lot of volunteer work. Uh, we have various study abroad programs from short term, just a couple weeks to semester long. Uh, one of the big ones is our required semester abroad in London for our theater majors. We also have a great professional development program with lots of workshops, resume buildings, and overall we have 50 different clubs on campus. We are a D3 school for athletics and 32% of our students are student athletes. So that means your professors and your coaches are very, very familiar with balancing that student athlete life. So you're not gonna get too overwhelmed if you decide to play a sport. Um, but if you don't wanna play at the NCAA level, we have various club sport opportunities if you still wanna go out and compete, just not practice and be as rigorous of a schedule. And we also have five intramural sessions throughout the year. So everything from basketball to wiffle ball to ping pong, you can play that with your friends. And overall, we have 40 plus majors on our campus. So some of our big areas are business, the sciences and education. And we have a few new uh, health sciences programs. Our nursing program is new this year and our physician's assistant program, that's a collaboration with Mayo Clinic is in its third year. 100% uh, of our classes are taught by professors. So they've all worked in the field, researched in the field and now decided to come teach. 
and you can really sense their passion for what they do and get to hear their real world experience on you know what you'll be doing in a few years when you graduate. Uh, and we have 11 to 1 student faculty ratio with an average class size of 20. So I was a student at St. Mary's and we had everything from 20 in a class to three in a class. So you really get to know everyone on campus and it is a great environment for learning. If you have any questions, our contact info is right there and we would love to have you on campus for a tour. Thank you. Perfect. Well, we will go ahead and turn it over to our next university, which is going to be Beth Bethany Lutheran College. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Audrey. Uh, I, um, uh, I graduated from Bethany as a student in uh, December of 2020, and I started working here just this last January. So I like to think I still know what it's like to be a student while I'm looking at Bethany. Um, just to kind of uh, to put us on the map, so to speak, we are located in Mankato, Minnesota, so kind of south central. We're about an hour and a half away from the Twin Cities area um, and about um, an hour or so away from Rochester. Um, right before you is a picture of our campus. These are all of our academic buildings, as well as quite a few of our residence halls. Um, everything is quite close knit together. I think it, the max amount is about a seven minute walk from one end of campus to the other. I'm um, looking at the majors because that's why you go to college. Um, we offer 27 uh, majors and about 25 minors. Um, and we also offer pre-professional programs. So if you're looking for something uh, a little more um, graduate school heavy, if you're looking for um, therapies or anything like that, we have the tools to get you where you want to go with those higher education um, career paths. We also have our very first graduate program in Christian um, mental health counseling. Um, so that one is something we're starting off and it's been going on really strong um, throughout this entire year. Um, a little about our student makeup. We have 800 students enrolled this year, um, our biggest number yet, and we can't wait to keep growing that as well. Uh, about 750 of our students are in the undergraduate level. They are living on campus or um, commuting to campus to take their classes in person. Our student faculty ratio is about 11 to 1. So, and I can especially say this from personal experience, they give you a very personalized education. Um, I was a theater major when I went here and I really wanted to do stuff in costuming, but we don't really have a costuming emphasis. So I talked to my professors, told them what I was interested in, and then we helped um, curate my curriculum that I was learning in my specific classes to groove it towards what I was really interested in. And that is um, a broad sweep across all the different majors that we offer, all of the professors here. They are really interested in you and your specific journey with your education. Um, our student uh, population is also incredibly diverse. We've got students from all over the country, rural, urban, um, everything in between, as well as a huge international student population. We've got 20 countries represented and six continents from all over our campus. Um, looking at affordability, because I know this is something that I absolutely memorized when I was a student, um, the real cost of having a student on our campus about $37,000. That is the number that we invest in you as a student to have a great experience here on our campus. Um, luckily for everyone, uh, no one actually really pays that number. Um, the average cost is about 16000 because we give out an average financial aid package of about $29,000 through named scholarships, talent scholarships, um, and federal student aid, need-based aid, all of those different things. Um, a little about what our students do while they're on campus, because while academics are great, we love seeing students get involved in a ton of different things on campus. Um, we are a division three school, so about 40% of our students compete in varsity sports, um, which is super exciting. Um, we have 35, um, about 35 student clubs and organizations. And because we're uh, a smaller, tighter knit school, if you see a hole that we're missing on campus, you have the opportunity to start your own club, even your freshman year. 
Um, also speaking from personal experience, I really enjoyed this when I was here. I believe we have a really strong fine arts program. Our theater stuff is really hands-on building our sets and costumes and props from the ground up most times. Uh, we've got tons of different bands on campus and really strong music program as well. Um, we've had our esports team for about three years now, I want to say. Um, we actually were ranked third in the nation in a League of Legends tournament just this last semester, um, which is super exciting and our team is only growing and getting better. Um, we also introduced a clay target team, which we are super excited to grow and invest even more in as the years go on. Um, going after college and everything, um, it's really important that we set our students up for success. Um, about 80% of our students get their degree completed in four years or less, which is just um, less time that you have to spend paying stuff for college and more time you can invest getting money out in the real world in your career. 90% of 91% of our students are employed after six months after graduation. And if you're looking for something a little more um, intensive for graduate programs and things like that, 90% of our students get placed in their first choice of graduate program, which I'm very proud of. Um, and also looking at your time while you're on campus, we offer a variety of different internships based on our relationships with all of the different businesses around us. We have some really local ones like the Mankato Moondogs, which is the minor league team, as well as fun.com, which works in Halloween uh, costumes, as well as really big brands like US Bank, Mayo Clinic, and The Target. Um, we have lots of opportunities for you to actually get involved in those things, as well as actual real world experience. Um, thank you so much for giving me the time to talk to you guys today. Um, I would love for you guys to set up visits and come see us on campus. All right, and we will close out our night um, with one more institution that y'all will get to hear from, which is Verto Education. All right, hi everyone. Thank you so much for the intro. Um, I've got a few things to go through with you here tonight and let's go ahead and get started. So. My name is Amy. Um, I am the Midwest Regional Admissions Counselor for an organization called Verto Education. So we're actually a study abroad organization. And we believe that international experiences are so incredible, so important, and so life-changing that we really want to make sure that every college student has the opportunity to explore the world. And the way we do that is by offering affordable, accessible study abroad programs that are specifically designed for first year college students. So before you head to campus, we want you to head out into the world. And so you might be asking, how does that work? Uh, and first, we have you apply through us. There's no fee to apply to Verto, and the application is non-binding. Plus, we'll get, you, we'll get back to you with an admissions decision within about 48 hours after you complete the application. You can think of us a little bit like the Common App uh, because we actually have about 70 partner colleges and universities all around the country, and you can apply to those schools using the same application that you submit to us. If you already know which schools you want to apply to, that's great. But if not, um, our college counseling team will work with you one-on-one -on -one to figure it out and we'll submit those applications on your behalf. Next up, you head abroad. You go places like Costa Rica, Italy, Spain, Hawaii, or London. Uh, and while you're there, you're taking general education classes that offer you the chance to really get out there and engage with your local host culture. And by that, I'm thinking things like you go scuba diving for a science class you're taking in Hawaii, or perhaps you go to visit the West End to see a show for your theater class in London. And all of these classes that you're taking are fully transferable college credit. And once your program is over, you'll have a solid four-year plan in place and can head off to finish your degree because our programs are designed to keep you on track to graduate in four years. And so, I mean, I could go on and on and tell you about how great study abroad is, all the benefits, but really what I wanna do is make sure that you are able to hear from our students and our staff members on the ground. So I have a short video here, it's just short of four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you um, so that way we can hear from them.
it's a hands-on approach. They get to actually see what they're dealing with in the real world, in real time, rather than learning about it in the textbook. I remember thinking when I was here in college that ah, I want something a little bit more than just being on a campus and being in a 300 person lecture hall. I didn't feel like I was actually learning very much. I definitely wasn't engaging in real world in a meaningful way. And I think that for me, I thought, I think it's better. We can do it better. After graduating high school, I was tired of the grind of going into classrooms, sitting there, getting a lecture, going home, doing homework. I wanted to travel and see the world and I wanted a different opportunity where I could still get college credits while traveling and seeing a different part of the world. For students to spend a full semester becoming global citizens, developing independence and motivation and understanding of the world and different cultures and then being able to come to Worcester is something we are just a, incredibly excited to, to provide this opportunity. The students not only are able to actually get university credits and be in an immersive classroom, the main benefit for students is being able to experience everything in their classes as they're completely immersed in it. It's one thing to just read about like global businesses around the world and international development in a book, but it's another thing to come visit villages like these and see how they're actually doing things hands-on. Our classrooms have ranged from taking a short walk to a field, to being on a deck with that beautiful morning light in Fiji, to being in someone's home. Really interesting to me. I've been able to make new friends, make new connections, and just meet people with different insight on how the world works and kind of like put it into my own philosophy. To integrate into these cultures and see how Everything is completely different than what we're used to at home. A lot of people that haven't traveled don't really understand that other parts of the world aren't exactly the same as where they live. And I think this is an amazing experience to do that as well as earn credits for college. Students who will come here will, uh, after having spent that first semester abroad, will join us as second semester first year students with a full load of credits that will transfer seamlessly, meeting general education requirements. Students may apply to partner colleges through Verito uh, on the Verito website. It's uh, one application that then is sent to the partner colleges, the partner colleges uh, review, and uh, both Verito and the colleges will uh, send a, an admission decision very quickly, usually within two to three weeks. By students having this experience, they have this incredible opportunity to become more independent travelers, more critical thinkers, and more empathetic global citizens, all while simultaneously gaining college credit, which is pretty amazing. I know, I'm so glad I came on this trip. Yeah. It's every, amazing. <laughs> every day I wake up and I'm so grateful and so thankful that I was able to come on this trip and that I'm here with the people that I am and I'm, that I'm in these places. All right, so just to wrap it up, um, a lot of students that I talk to always inevitably ask me, or they're just not sure, is Virto really a good fit for me? This is so different. It's different than what you might have been expecting as you're making plans for college. And the one thing that I always tell students is that as long as you're willing to be just a little bit adventurous, then this is a program that can work for you. We customize it to what your goals are. We help you figure out your plan for the next four years. And as long as you're willing to just get out of your comfort zone for one semester, then the whole world is open to you. And this could be a really incredible opportunity for you to chart your own path and change your life for the better. And so of course, uh, lastly, I invite you all to check us out. Um, our website is vertoeducation.org. You can find us on TikTok, on Instagram. We have students who are abroad right now uh, who are posting about their experiences and it is so cool to be able to follow along with them. Um, so definitely follow up with us. If you have any questions, reach out. We would love to hear from you. Thank you. Well, thank you all so much for joining us tonight.
Just a few quick things as we wrap up. When you close this window, there will be a link to a quick five minute survey. Um, so we, five, not five minutes, five questions. It probably won't even take you five minutes. Um, so we would just appreciate any feedback you can provide on your experience here tonight. Um, I also would encourage you all that if there were any, um, any institutions that you wanted to hear from that you didn't tonight, all of these sessions were recorded. And so you can find the session recordings at strivescan.com slash Minnesota. Thank you all so much. Enjoy your night. Um, and we hope to see you at some of the sessions tomorrow. Thanks. Bye-bye.